Okay, let's go ahead and graph the line x is equal to 7. So is this a difficult problem? Matter of fact, this is a super easy problem. The answer is no, this is an easy problem. But nevertheless, I would say half the people are going to get this incorrect. So uh, why is that? Well, I'm going to explain this in a moment. But if you know what the graph of x equals 7 looks like, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Of course, we're going to cover this all in detail in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And if you're struggling in math, well, listen, there is hope. So don't give up the ship. Basically, to do well in mathematics, and everyone can, it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to work hard. you got to be willing to do the homework, take the notes, etc. So make sure you put in the work. But the second thing you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. I'm going to put a link to it in the description of this video. We'll help you out big time. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with a math section, there's a ton of them out there. Things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, or teacher certification exam, etc., I have a ton of test prep courses that may interest you. If you homeschool, definitely check out my uh, homeschool math program for middle and high school mathematics. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to help me out by liking it and subscribing. That would be much appreciated. All right, so let's go ahead and graph x is equal to 7 again. Super easy problem, but... Uh, you know, just like anything in life, if something's easy, it's also easy to confuse or like, you know, it's, it's kind of strange in the way we kind of our brains work. If something's super simple or easy, we kind of dismiss it like, ah, I don't, I, I already know that, or I don't need to remember that. But I can tell you right now from experience, a lot of people will confuse this. Okay. A lot of people get this problem wrong, but if you want to put your answer into the comment section again, before I show you the uh, correct answer, go ahead and do that now. But let's take a look at linear equations, just different type of uh, graphs that we're going to uh, uh, kind of learn how to um, uh, sketch when you are in algebra. So typically, uh, when I said, hey, graph a line, you're probably thinking, oh, lines that go like this, or maybe a line that goes like this. And these lines here in algebra are what we call two variable linear equations. So the graph of this Thing right here might look like y equals 2x plus 1. If you notice here, we have two variables, x, uh, I'm sorry, y and x, or maybe this particular uh, line right here would be like, let's say, 3x plus 4y is equal to 8. I'm just making stuff up, but basically, when you have a two-variable uh, two linear equation, things that involve x and y, you're going to have some sort of slope with that particular line. So what we're talking about here is the line x is equal to 7. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, if you're thinking, are those lines like maybe horizontal or vertical? Well, I would tell you, yes, you are on the right track. x equals 7 is either vertical or horizontal, but which one is it? Okay, is x equals 7 a vertical line or a horizontal line? Hmm, that is the great question. It's either one or the other. So this is where I'm telling you half the people uh, confuse us, okay, because we don't uh, typically, when we're in an algebra course, you're graphing two variable linear equations like this, and then we just kind of forget to graph these very simple lines like x is equal to 7. All right, but if this kind of jarred your memory and you're like, okay, now I remember this, well, then again, put your answer into the comment section, but let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer now. Okay, so here we go. X is equal to 7 is, in fact, a vertical line that goes through 7 on the x-axis. So if you got that right, let me go ahead and give you a nice little lovely happy face for being an awesome algebra student. So X equals a number is a vertical line, okay, and it goes through that point on the x-axis. So this would be in uh, contrast to a, um, a line like this, y is equal to 2. What would that look like? Well, that's going to go through 2 on, on the y-axis, so that would be 1, 2. So y is equal to 2 would be something like this. Okay, y is equal to 2. So y equals a number is a horizontal line. x equals a number is a vertical line, all right? This is, again, super easy to confuse. But um, one way you can kind of remember this is the following. So let's take a look at, let me get rid of this other line here. 
Let's take a look at this uh, points that are on x equals 7. So I'm just going to have a couple coordinates. So these points are going to be x, y ordered pairs, right? x, y points that would be on this uh, line, x equal to 7. But if you look, this point anywhere on this line, what is going to be the x um, coordinate? Well, it's going to be 7. So this might be 7, 1. This point right here might be 7, 4. This one down here might be, what, 7, negative 3. They're always 7, okay, 7, 7, 7. So um, when we plot these points, when x is always 7, when we have an x, y, x, y point, but our x's is always 7, our y's can change. You could just kind of plot these points, and you can see it's going to uh, kind of uh, result in a nice vertical line. So that's one way to kind of remember it. But again, uh, you know, these x equals y equals um, uh, gr lines here are easy to confuse. So let me ask you another question, okay, in contrast to our other line. Let's go to put that back up. y is equal to 2. What is the slope of y is equal to 2, and what is the slope of x is equal to 7? So here is a nice little pop quiz question for you. All right, so the slope of y is equal to 2. This is a uh, flat horizontal line. This has a slope of 0. Okay, this has no slope or a slope of 0. Actually, it, it does have a slope. It's 0. But the slope of x is equal to 7 is undefined. Okay, this is actually has an undefined slope. So vertical lines are undefined, okay, in terms of the slope. Horizontal lines have a slope of zero. And then, of course, um, lines like this, let's take this line right here, okay. This has a positive slope. Lines that increase from left to right have a positive slope. And lines that fall from left to right have a negative slope. So all these things have to do with linear equations, two variable linear equations, y equals mx plus b, vertical lines, horizontal lines. These are all things that you need to master to do well in algebra, okay? And it used to always frustrate me as a math teacher to give students super easy problems on tests or quizzes, something like uh, graph uh, x equals 7, and half of them would get this wrong because they just kind of forgot. So you don't want to be in that situation, and hopefully this little video helped you out to not confuse this. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. But if you need help with graphing linear equations or anything algebra, um, I would uh, suggest checking out any one of my algebra uh, courses in my uh, math help program, pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2, whatever the case is for you. And also on my YouTube channel, I have a ton of additional videos on linear equations, how to find the slope, how to graph, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.